big win in the Hindi heartland for the BJP in Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh and Chhattisgarh has three big takeaways for the BJP in the run-up to now the 2024 Lok Sabha battle. The first big takeaway the BJP feels 2024 is now a done deal for the Narendra Modi government. We saw also the, also the Prime Minister yesterday say that these wins are a guarantee for a hat-trick for the BJP in the 2024 Lok Sabha battle. But why is this so? BJP feels it is in a 200-seat poll position already for the Lok Sabha if one looks at the Hindi heartland. The seats of UP, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, uh, uh, <coughs> Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand, Haryana, Uttarakhand, Himachal Pradesh, BJP is expecting a clean sweep in these states and get close to 200 seats including Delhi as well, the seven seats of Delhi, BJP is expecting that it is already in a poll position in about 200 seats. The extra seats that it requires to cross the majority mark, BJP is expecting from states like Maharashtra, states like Karnataka, even Telangana as well as Odisha. These are the states that BJP is expecting some gains from in the in the 2024 Lok Sabha battle, but the bulk of the seats BJP feel, feels will come from the Hindi heartland and this 200 seat advantage that it has going ahead now into the Lok Sabha. The second big takeaway is that will the India alliance prove to be a non-starter now? With the Congress losing in all the three Hindi heartland states, BJP leaders feel that the Congress big brother attitude in the India alliance will now find no takers. Already we are seeing the Trinamool Congress, the Shiv Sena of the Uddhat Hafrik faction on the Samajwadi party raising questions on the Congress leadership and its failure to deliver in the three Hindi heartland states just months ahead of the Lok Sabha polls. This could complicate the seat sharing talks and equations in states like West Bengal or Uttar Pradesh where the Mamta Banerjee or Akhilesh Yadav will not be willing anymore to give many seats to the Congress. The Congress may end up, if it agrees to its all its alliance partners on contesting very few seats in uh, the Lok Sabha battle and that could pr prove to be a undoing of the India alliance. The third big takeaway that the BJP feels from these results is that the caste census bogey has proved to be a flop. The three states of Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan and uh, Chhattisgarh were states which are also had considerable OBC population but in these states the caste census bogey has simply not worked and BJP has registered big wins. In all these three states Rahul Gandhi went and said that the, B uh, the Congress will launch a caste census if it comes to power. Chief Ministers like uh, Ashok Gehlot promised a caste census, Kamal Nath promised a caste census, Bhupesh Bhagel promised a caste census but the people do not seem to have bought that bogey and we saw the Prime Minister also say yesterday that under the garb of a caste census an attempt was made by the Congress to divide the opposition, divide the people on the basis of caste and the people seem to have rejected that narrative of the Congress party. With these three big takeaways the BJP is looking at a mega 2024 win in the Lok Sabha and it will be further bolstered by what the BJP feels is the Ram Temple inauguration by the Prime Minister in January this year which will make the atmosphere totally conducive for a big BJP win and Narendra Modi becoming the Prime Minister for the third time consecutively in the Lok Sabha battle of 2024.